The question is, is feeding your dog raw food good or bad for your dog? Because on a lot of social media, all you see is feed your dog raw, feed your dog this raw, feed your dog raw, yeah? But nobody really goes into whether there are any side effects, whether it's okay for all dogs, etc. And I'm going to tell you a story about somebody that I met when walking my dog once in a park. This is only one story, but I've heard other stories. This is only one face-to-face -face story, but I've heard other stories as well. Um, when they had a British Bulldog and they decided to go down the raw route because everybody was doing it and mm, it didn't go so well for the British Bulldog. So I like to give my experiences to you. Anything that I've experienced, I like to hand over. You know, your experiences are going to be different, but if you can learn something from me, then that's going to be great, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I feed my dogs raw chicken on and off. Chicken thighs and chicken drumsticks. More, more chicken thighs. But let me, let me explain something to you about chicken drumsticks. So firstly, let me just get into the thighs, yeah? Right, if you look at this bit of chicken here, right, you can see that the bone is quite, I mean, it's not too, it's bone in it, but it's more flesh. And there's no knuckles at the end, yeah? It's quite easy for dogs to absorb it. But if you look at a drumstick, here's a picture of one. Chicken drumsticks, I always, always cut off the end, the knuckly bit. And the reason why I cut the knuckle part of it off is I always give you my experiences, yeah? I The reason why I cut it off with a chopper is because the knuckle bit got stuck in my um, one of my dog's guts, clearly, because they puked it up. They couldn't digest it. So ever since that happened, I felt like I had a lucky break there. And ever since that happened, I cut it off. I don't take any risks. So... They, they, everything's been fine since ever since. I, I, I hardly give them drumsticks, really. It's more thighs. But when I do, that knuckle bit comes off. So this family that I met at the park um, had a British Bulldog, and they were saying that because of all the craze, they were, the, the influence was to keep your dog as healthy as possible and to go on to raw. Now, when I'm talking about this, right, I'm not saying that raw is a bad diet. I'm just saying that you have to do it in a certain way. You've got to do it in moderation. You've got to know what you're doing. You can't just get um, a, 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 something from a, a social media and then start giving your dog a whole load of red meat. Do you see what I mean? You have to be kind of a bit more um, thoughtful about how you're doing and how much food you're giving the dog as well. So these guys, they had a British Bulldog. And you know, can you imagine, British Bulldogs tend to be quite short-bodied, aren't they, and quite short dogs. So no blame anywhere, but it clearly sounds like they didn't really know how much to give their British Bulldog. So they were just giving their British Bulldog um, raw meat every single day and what happened the British Bulldog ended up having kidney problems and the vet said it was because of the complete raw diet that they were given the kidneys couldn't cope or something now I'm not a vet so he, he wasn't a vet either so I'm not going to go into detail of what I think happened with it or you know etc etc but that's what I was told so and then when I hear other stories about raw there's not always a positive. It's some. It's good, good, but it's not always positive. You've got to keep that in mind. So yeah, raw food is is good. It's good to give your dog raw food, but just do it with a bit of education. You know, remembering that you know dogs do are oh, from from wolves in the long run, but they're not wolves anymore, and so their digestive systems are going to be different. And if you think about stray dogs, any stray dog, think about it. Do they eat? raw red meat every single day probably not you know what i mean they only probably eat it they probably eat scraps from humans in foxes they probably eat like the odd bird when they catch it you know insects things like that so they're not re they're not eating heavy meals every single day what i tend to do is i tend to feed my dogs some raw some kibble some tinned some veg um and i just alternate it or mix and match some eggs um i tend to give the egg just the yolk and not the white bit because the white bit isn't that great the only meat that i don't give and never give unless it's cooked um but i don't even really have it anyway is a uh, pork never raw pork um that's a no-no the reason no pork is because i've read that it has it potentially could have parasites in it that aren't good for humans or, or dogs so just to avoid any complications with that i just avoid pork altogether if you give your dog too much food anyway like you might be thinking, oh my god, my dog's got diarrhea, or my dog's got loose poo, yeah? I'm just going to show you a picture in a minute. So if you're squeamish, or a video in a minute, if you're squeamish, look away. <laughs> but I'm just going to show you a, a video of my dog's poo and the way a poo really should look. Their poos are perfect at the moment. But it wasn't always like that. 
when I was like adjusting their food, getting the right amounts of food, etc., etc., a boy who's got a, like a sensitive stomach, he would always have loose poos, and you could see diarrhea, you know, coming out of his. <laughs> but there was nothing wrong with him. It was just that my consistency, the food that I was giving him, wasn't at the right balance. So eventually, you can get if you trial and error, you can get to the right balance, and then you'll find that their poos are really nice um, looking poos. <laughs> if you want to think of a poo in that way. Um, but here's a video of it anyway. <laughs> I'm just going to say, look away if you're squeamish, squeamish, yeah? Right, so if you look at that, that is quite a good consistency. It's not um, loose, it's not too hard. If you look there, look. That's a good, that looks, that's a good poo. That's my boy's poo, and that's my girl, the other one is my girl's, and um, that was done this morning. So you can see it's got um, moisture in it, etc. Um, I just wanted to put that on, because I know a lot of people don't... Um, talk about the consistency when you're giving your dog food so just keep that in mind if a dog was out in the wild they would not be eating every single day you have to remember that so when you're giving your dog two meals a day like i only give my dog one meal a day my dog's one meal a day yeah if you're giving your dog two meals a day and your and your dogs are ending up with diarrhea every time they go to the toilet then you know you're giving too much in that bowl you can separate it into two meals but you're giving too much in the bowl i hope you enjoyed the video oh i always need to end Remember to give it a like if you liked it because it helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching.